Shaber 1000 here. I got a cool update for you of something that's going to be going on this weekend and we're going to talk about that and a couple other little things so stay tuned and let's get into it. Okay guys so here's the update this coming weekend which would be Friday the 23rd <coughs> excuse me we're going camping again now it's at a resort just right up the road from us here about 15 10 15 minutes um, it's just right on the outskirts of our town so it's not very far at all like I said maybe a 15 minute drive depending on traffic uh, it's kind of like it's it's they consider it an RV resort um, but they have tenting there uh, it's the River Lodge it's on the Whitlacoochee River, the river that we go fishing at, which we went fishing last night and we was out until 3 o'clock in the mornings when we left. We was down at the river. I caught two fish. They were hitting, but I'm surprised we caught anything because the water's so high. It's almost over the dock where we set the fish. Um, so I didn't film any of that. Um, but like you'd get a good bite and you wouldn't get anything for like half an hour. <coughs> Excuse me had to keep casting out you know because when, when the water gets that high they're back back in the woods you got to get back in them little holes and them coves to to catch any good fish but so i caught two and um so but what that's the river it's going to be on and it's right on the river so we're going to be able to dock our boat there now they don't have a ramp there but there is a boat ramp a public boat ramp right across the road that I can put the boat in and take the boat over to the uh, over to start the rain again over to the camp area and then uh, monkey can meet me over there they got a place to park our trailer at no extra cost that's good so we're gonna we're gonna go Friday night when she gets off work it's 30 bucks a day they have the um, the tents where you set your tent up they have on uh, 16 by 16 like a wooden wooden dock you know what I mean like a platform so <clears throat> I'm not sure how I'm gonna stake that down I'll probably just bring some screws you know and um, use some of my cordage and tie it down because we don't want our tent blown away but they got a clubhouse and a big fire area and stuff like that so that's cool <clears throat> like I said it's 30 bucks a night so we're gonna go try that out we're gonna like I said, we're going to go out Friday night as soon as she gets off work. And we'll be there until we'll check out times Monday at 11 a.m. So, we'll, that way we get two whole days. Because if we if we check in on a Saturday, we can't check in until 3 o'clock. So, by the time we check in, uh, you know, set up camp and get something to eat, you know it's going to be dark so you're really wasting the day we'll only have really Sunday you know to enjoy because Monday we got to get up early and break camp so that's why we're going to go Friday night that way we'll have all day Saturday and all day Sunday we'll have two full days now uh, they do have Wi-Fi there so we're going to do a live stream Saturday for you and I'm going to call it say between 8 and 9 I'll let you know um, for sure what time I'm I'm thinking probably eight o'clock but man the camera the outside camera just kicked on the night vision because it's so dark out and it's only you know, I don't even know what time it is it ain't, it ain't even five o'clock yet we took the boat out today we, we we went to this other lake that we had our ginu out in one time and this this lake is is horrible I love the ramps and I love the docks but to put in there I mean the waves are so bad and when we went out it was calm there was no wind blowing and it was just choppy as hell and wow it's really coming down and um, 
So, we like to cruise the lake. We don't like to run wide open the whole time. So we like to cruise around a little bit. Well, that lake there, uh, I'm sure you saw the footage of when we was coming into the Gulf of Mexico. Um, when we was camping, this lake, it's an inland lake, mind you. The, the waves was worse than that. So once we got back in there, we got back in a little couple little coves. Now, once I'm done with this vlog, at the end of this video, I'll throw in Monkey got some good good footage of that. Um, we got back in these little channels, and they were really nice. And it was nice and calm back in there, but it started clouding up pretty quick. So we headed back to the back to the uh to the dock and i mean this this boat was just doing this number you know so she went and got the truck i had a and while i was waiting to get the truck i mean this thing was just banging me up against the dock so i had to get away from the dock so i just figured i'll just use the trolling motor that trolling motor couldn't it just couldn't do it you know six 55 pound thrust and it just couldn't you know it just pushed me over against not the dock, but against the the uh, the shore, and there's a sandbar there. I kind of got hung up on a sandbar, and that that trolling motor couldn't do it. So, and then of course it, the back end come around like this. So trolling, I couldn't use either motor, so I had to get it, get out of the boat, push it back, and <laughs> run back to the back of the boat and fire up the gas motor to get me out of there and go back to the dock. Uh, the the wildlife officer, he, he had come in the same time we came in. Really cool, really nice guy. By then, Monkey had pulled the truck around, so he actually helped her hold the boat up against the dock while I went back the truck in. So, hell of a nice guy. That guy was really cool. But as soon as she got to the truck it just came a downpour man i mean it started filling the boat up with water and i'm getting soaked and i'm pissed off and i'm like i hate it now that's two times because the first time i was like well maybe it was just a bad day because it was a little windy that day and there was a lot of airboats and you know they had a big airboat thing going on so i thought well okay well she mentioned it and i said all right we'll try it again you know we'll try it one more time well two out of two times you know i almost fucked up our boat well the, the first time you know i had the big spotlights on the ginu because night riding you know we we'd get back in them coves and stuff the spotlights were handy busted one of them off and so this time i was like man i ain't getting up against that dock any longer than i have to so finally we got it in there and and then it's hell getting up because once you get because the ramps the ramps nice because it comes down at a slight angle like this about 10 feet and then it drops off steeper like that so your trailer gets down in in the water and you can get the front of your boat up on the trailer just fine but then you got the waves trying to push the back of the boat over up against the dock no matter what side you're on <clears throat> so while she's pulling out you know i gotta put my foot on the boat hold the boat over so it's somewhat straight on the trailer which we did pretty good um so it was like just two out of two times you know i mean i almost sank our boat you know you work all your life to have a beat up old boat just to sink it on shore <laughs> i was like no because i mean and the waves you know because it pushed me right right straight in till the nose was on shore and the waves were coming over the stern of the boat i mean just you know dumping water in you know almost swamped me now you know now i got five five six gallons of water back there so that's weighting me down even more so finally i did get it out i got the engine started which you know it's it's start one pool now so i fired the engine up and got it turned around just in time because you know then it, the boats you know was going back into shore sideways so I knew I was going to hit that sandbar, so I had to hurry up. So I got it out and around there, and we got it loaded with that. Um, he uh, he tied that off while I was back in the truck, and he tied that off for her, so the front of the boat. And I had to back the boat moored on there, so he tied the mooring line. And uh, it was a pain in the ass getting it untied because, you know, you just 
wrap you guys know how to do that i'm sure well most every sometime I'll, I'll i'll show you guys that don't know what i'm talking about guys that do you know you just and it comes right off well the the pressure of that water was was holding a boat like like this so it was like you're tugging on the boat to try to get enough you know slack so you can un, undo the i mean even he he had trouble with these big airboat getting it in there and it just it was a pain in the ass and I couldn't go on to the far end, you know, and tie off there because it was pushing me away from the dock. And I was by myself, you know. Could have tied the back, but then the front wanted to come around. If I'd have tied the front, the back would have came around, pushed me away from the dock before I could get back there to, to tie it. And I'm like, man, this is a pain in the ass. And then, you know, it started sprinkling. It slowed down to a sprinkle. So I was like, man... But anyway, that's what we're going to do. Um, we did develop a couple more little leaks. I noticed a couple more since we was on the Gulf Coast and hitting them waves. And those waves today, I found a couple more little leaks on a couple rivets. Not a big deal. So this week I'm going to uh, make sure the pump's going to run all right. We'll probably just go get a new pump. In case it has a downpour like this and we're docked on the river you know i don't want it filling up with water and i have to go down here at four or five o'clock in the morning and be pumping out the boat you know so it don't sink um but other than that man that boat's running good it it's very impressive for an old boat i mean you know runs real good them them old evan roods um johnson you know johnson evan Rude, johnson same thing uh, but the old Evan Rubes, what we got, them old 18 Fast Twins, man, they run so good, you know. They're a little noisy, you know, but those those old motors were a little noisy. I don't mean like it's making engine noises. I mean just the engine itself's louder than, you know, and if you run it with the motor cover off, it's, it's super loud, but it is very impressive. So we're so stay tuned Saturday night. I'm going to shoot for eight o'clock for the live stream. If we can get Wi-Fi or if we can get a signal with our phones, we should because you can see a cell phone tower from there. You know, we'll do a live stream night fishing. That'd be cool because I got plenty of lights and stuff. We'll do some cat fishing. Uh, it, weather providing, weather providing. So, you know. So anyway, that, that's the update, and that's what we went through today. So Monkey said I'm not allowed to do anything the rest of the day or tomorrow. Got to do something. Um, the trolling motor does all right. I still like the Minn Kota we had a lot better, and it was only 40-pound thrust. But this 55-pound thrust does all right forward, but it doesn't like to back up, and and I, I don't care that no trawling motor could have could have helped me today i mean if that's all we had was a trawling motor we'd have been screwed i don't know i probably would have had to strip down and, and and walk the boat around to get it you know back over to the dock crazy we saw a couple empty houses one was more like a little shack more like a cabin like a cracker house they're called the other one couldn't couldn't get a good view of them but I, I know they're empty because you know you can tell there's no there's no not even a path to the docks the docks are there but and the docks ain't been used in years and um you know i'll show you some monkey got some footage of that i'll show you some of that uh we're going to try to find out if them places are for sale or what's going on with them i mean the old lawn chairs are them old metal not the ones you know with the straps the old metal style chairs from the 50s and 60s i'd say you know an old couple lived there years and years and years and just finally passed away so i you know that's my guess uh, but it's nice back in them in them little channels you know nice back in there it's just the the front of the lake man is is horrible it's just always always so choppy you know and, and man i just damn near surf like monkey said you can damn near surf on it um but it's just you know you're sitting there at the dock and you know the dock's up here and then the boat's up here and the dock's up here and you're banging up against it 
you know, you don't want to tie off and walk away too much. I mean, you're beating the hell out of the side of your boat, you know. But anyway, enjoy the clips and stay tuned. I'll have more videos for you this week, a couple more. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I just want to give you that update. Heads up for Saturday night. We're going to do a live stream. Um, whether it be fishing or whether it be in the clubhouse, we're going to live stream for you for a while. And then um, and we'll go from there. So um, anyway, so keep that in mind. Stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. Don't forget to check out Monkey1000 channel. Thanks, Monkey, for letting me use the footage that I am going to be showing right now. Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend, gone for now. Enjoy the clips. Bruno's life jacket on. It's a shark. <laughs> well, but somebody lives there and they got their boat. Boat right there. Dear. Yeah. That's why it's all still in that. That's some kind of water pipe there, isn't it? That's cool. <laughs> Isn't that cool? Oh well. <laughs> Got their fire pit down here. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like an old dock there. house is way in there. Hmm. That was a wraparound dog. Yeah, that's neat, huh? Hmm. Old shack. Yeah. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? No, it's not the other one. Oh, the other one? Maybe. This one looks empty. Oh, look. A little bridge. Isn't that cute? Yeah. You see that over there? Hmm? Oh, yeah. That's cool, too. A oh, cute little bridge. I like that. That's cute. That's what we heard last night, is that bird right there. They talk a lot, those birds. That's neat. I still haven't charged this battery. No? Wow. Ha. That's why we're here the staircase. Yeah, that's neat. Yeah. 
Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look around. Yep. That'd be really cool. Another little bridge here. Yeah, cute. There's the monkeys better, guys. That's so cute. Yeah.